Number 11 says a commuter airplane starts from an airport and takes the route shown in the figure below. The plane first flies to City A, located 175 kilometers away in a direction 30 degrees north of east. Next, it flies for 150 kilometers, 20 degrees west of north, to City B. Finally, the plane flies 190 kilometers due west to City C. Find the location of City C relative to the location of the starting point. It wants the distance in kilometers, and it wants the angle degrees west of north. Alright, so um, just as an interjection, that's the center of the universe. Um, now, to find our angle, we're going to take this one trip at a time. The first trip, he drove, or he, uh, the travel was 175 miles, 30 degrees north of east. This is east, so I go north of that, 30 degrees, and it was 175 miles. So, I know that this is 175, I know that this is um, 30 degrees. So, I can use sine and cosine to find my y1 and my x1. So, I'm really looking for x1, x2, x3, and I want y1, y2, and y3. So, let's find out what x1 and y1 are. Um, the sine of 30 degrees <coughs> equals our opposite which is our y so equals our y over our hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse so if I take 175 multiply it by that side I should get y1 and it so happens that y1 is 87.5 87 87.5 kilometers and so now I can take cosine so I'm going to take 175 times cosine of 30 degrees. And it should equal my adjacent or my x value, x1. And that is 151.55. So I've got x1, I've got y1. We're going to keep this tabulate uh, going. <coughs> so, so far, we went a little bit this way. The next thing we're going to do is it says um, it flies 150 kilometers, 20 degrees west of north. So here's north. We're going to go 20 degrees west of that and fly 150 miles. So find my x component and my y component of that. So <coughs> I know that this is um 20 degrees this is 150 so my y will be my adjacent my x will be my opposite so um 150 times sine of 20 so this is my hypotenuse and sine is going to sine is um opposite over hypotenuse so it's going to give me my x component equals x and that means that my x2 is a negative. Uh, it's going to give you a positive value. You just got to remember graphically that it's negative. It's going to give you a negative uh, 51, 51.303. So negative 51.303. Then I can take 150 cosine of 20. And that should equal my y value. Because cosine of theta equals adjacent, and this is adjacent to the angle, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means that my y2 uh, is 140.95. Now the rest of this is easy. It says, finally, the plane heads due west. So from what we have is he's went this way, then this way. Now he's just heading due west. The change in y, so the change in y3 is zero. It doesn't go up or down. 
The change in X, however, says it goes due west 190 kilometers, so negative 190. So my X3, negative 190. So I want to add up all my X's and all my Y's, so Y3 is 0, and that will give me my resultant, my resultant X and my resultant Y. So when I add all of them up, I get uh, for my x's I get 151.55 minus 51.303 minus 190, and that equals x equals negative 89.75 carried out 3045. <coughs> but you just need the 0.75, and then for y, y is our um, 87.5 plus one, uh, 140.95 plus zero. So the Y resultant is 228.45 kilometers. And this is both in kilometers. So negative 89.75 to 28.45. Not, what does that mean? If I go over negative 85.45, I go up 228, or negative 89.75, I go up to uh, 228.45. That gives me this triangle. So I can take this x value squared, add it to this y value squared, find the square root, and that's my distance. So um, if I'm talking about these, the formula would be the square root of negative 89.75 squared plus 228.45 squared, which is the square root of 8,055 and some change plus Five thousand two hundred and uh, fifty-two thousand one hundred ninety-one and some change. So <clears throat> you add those together, you get um, you get the square root of sixty thousand two hundred and forty-six point seven nine is what your final answer is going to be. The square root of that. So my my resultant vector is going to be 245.45 kilometers. So, okay, so we know the magnitude of this, 245.45 kilometers. Now we got to find the angle. The thing to remember on this is how we defined um, our angles. We can define it this, uh, I'll do this in blue, I can define it this way and up, or I can find it this way and down. It wants the answers, the answer in terms of degrees uh, west of north. So this is north, I go west of that. It wants this degree right here. So uh, I can just simply say that my y component now is my adjacent, and my x component is my opposite. So when I do opposite over hypotenuse, which is, um, which is the sine function, so sine of some, some angle, sine of some angle equals opposite over hypotenuse, which is my x, negative 89.75. Um, but we're going to do absolute value because it doesn't know that it's in, uh, that this way is a negative value. So negative 89 points. Uh, so 89.75, 89.75 over my hypotenuse 245.45. So you do the the. Uh, um, you can either type in a sine or sine negative 1 times this number will give you your angle. 
net angle should be um, 21.44845. See, the angle theta equals 21.44845, and the magnitude of our resultant vector is 245.45. 2216 kilometers. Have a nice day.